Yes? What do you want? I am not in the habit of making conversation with strangers, especially one of your stature. Please be quick. I see. Think very, very carefully about what you are saying. Octien is a Templar. He is in a position of the highest authority. And who, may I ask, are you? For you to accuse Octien without having a direct confession is not only meaningless, but contrary to all our procedures. Even if this were true, or even already suspected, it would have to be corroborated by Octien himself. That requires a confession. As he is not here to present the charges himself, I must assume that no such confession exists. Now, I have done all I can for you. Please, trouble me no further with this matter, especially with such insufficient evidence. We have already discussed this. Nothing short as such. Templar Octien will remain under... I'm here to send regrets on behalf of Templar Joriel. While she wishes to extend you aid, she's stymied by protocol. What she gave you was an official response. I'm here to give you another response. A personal one. I am a political aide for Templar Joriel. I operate in a number of capacities for the Templar's official and unofficial business. My superior has suspected for some time the crimes that you've levied against Templar Octien. But like you, she is frustrated by his status. Allow me to be direct. If you can make Templar Octien publicly acknowledge his crimes, then Templar Joriel will reward you. She will be your patron of sorts. You wish to bring the Templar to justice, yes? then you must get him to publicly acknowledge his crimes in some form. As my superior no doubt told you, the Templar may be found in the Livrarium. I suggest you go there. You, you're alive. What an unexpected and quite unfortunate turn of events. For starters, I expected you to be rotting in a sandy ditch somewhere. Supper for the carrion birds. Understand, you and I are alike. All we both want is to see this business reach its end. Did it? Here you stand, suspecting me of a great many crimes, yet unable to lift a finger. Tell me, who has the power? Or what? You'll slaughter me in a murderous rage? Typical. Your kind is as predictable as it is stupid. I'm afraid you'll find me quite hard to kill. 
Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for you. Attack me in this city, and I won't just have you clapped in irons. No, I'll hand you over to the scholars in the Basilica for research. A long career supporting vivification research has left me with certain advantages. You could say I'm more resilient than most of your enemies. The wise and the foolish both die. Is that justice? With the will of souls, I can change that. I can choose who deserves life. To think that yous gave away such a gift to you. Well, we've seen how you wasted your life. Perhaps I'll give Intrinio your corpse to examine. After all, you met your first death as his assistant. It would be a reunion. Of course. And it's such a pity you'll never find out.
If setting fire to the Livrarium and hiring assassins is not an admission of guilt on Octien's part, I certainly don't know what is. It is clear that we Templars must make him assume responsibility for his actions, overt as well as hidden. Even though you went against my explicit instruction, you were effective. You have my respect. Should he survive the wounds earned in battle, I should think so. To that effect, I have ordered a moratorium on all of his current studies and projects. All, perhaps, save this mysterious well of souls. That one will take some deliberation, considering its various ethical and societal ramifications. Regardless, Gnome Society is in your debt, and we always pay what is owed. I'm afraid that's one promise I cannot make. Our society demands neutrality with regard to the war. But I've been told that while you were on the scaffolds, Scholar Hughes managed to salvage Octien's texts from the Livrarium fire. He should arrive shortly. With any luck, he's discovered something that might be of use to you. Now, I must tend to Octien's affairs. Greetings. It was my mistake to assume that Octien would go quietly. Or that he would leave evidence behind. Such a waste. Some of those books he burned were centuries old. But luckily for us, I was able to salvage some from the flames. Oh, a great many prizes. Treatises on the nature of death, tables upon tables of autopsy analyses. But only one item of true value. Octien's diary. Based off of what I've read in these pages, Ventrinia has been working on an island off of Cluricon. I'm afraid the Dark Wood of Cluricon still hides Atawatha enemies. But this young lady, Aileen Shear, says she has a solution for that. When you reach Ventrinia, beware. He is certainly a genius, but complicated. He may try killing you the second time for good measure. His mind may be dangerous. But it holds the secret to entering Alabastra, and you must find it. Oh, I will. In fact, I believe I'll be staying in Odessa to offer what support I can. With Octian out of the way, the people will be needing a new Templar, after all. You carry a grave responsibility now, my friend. You were in rare form there, just like the old you. But that won't be enough to get where we need to go. Don't play games with me. I'm not looking for some chosen one to solve my problems. We just happen to have the same enemies in Alabastra. Are you certain you can't remember anything about your past life? A great leader? Or a great tyrant, perhaps? Either way, it might explain why you were killed in the first place. Don't worry. Apparently, you weren't great enough for anyone else to recognize you. Is a blank past better than a thankless one? No, not anymore. You really mean that, don't you? I think I was wrong about you. This is no trick. Here, take this charm. I hope it brings you good luck. You may need it, depending on what you find out. Agreed. We are facing more important problems than your ongoing identity crisis. The Tuatha have laid siege to the eastern city of Mel Senshir for years, and the time has come to break it. A few years ago, one warrior could have slipped past unnoticed. But stealth is no longer an option. Not even for me. But there is hope. In the plains of Erethel, there waits a player who has been away from this game for far too long. It is time to contact General Talera. Meet me in the village of Emer, and I will tell you everything. Be on your way.